Howdy, folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to the second episode of our Tech It Classic Redux Let's Play Adventure. And I'm so happy that you folks decided to come back and join me, even though the audio in episode one was a wee bit funky. I'm not sure what was causing that weird static, but I have fixed it now. I think. Huh, that's weird. I don't even remember editing that episode, but somehow I know the audio is bad. And I know I didn't do anything to change it, but... Or at least I don't remember doing anything to change it, but at least... Somehow I know it's fixed. Huh. Oh, well, let's not worry about it. Today, we're going to be building some machines. That's right, tech it. It's about some technical stuff, and we're gonna get technical. Before that, though, I wanted to address some issues with the transmutation tablet that I have forgotten but some of you brought up for me. First off, it doesn't have a search bar. That's not too bad. You can just place an item here and it'll kind of show you some similar items you can sort through. Unfortunately, it does mean we have to keep at least one of every item, which was the big advantage for this. For some reason, I think newer versions of the pro Project E? No, Equivalent Exchange 3. What am I even thinking about right now? My brain's all fuzzy and jumping around to weird places. For some reason, I believe in the future, this gets changed to have a short, 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 shorter, short, 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 search bar. It doesn't have one now, though, unfortunately. So we will have to keep one of every item. We might need to go ahead and build a condenser. I think some folks are right. And at least in Tech at Classic, condenser might be the way to go. We also want to be careful to keep one of everything. Another problem that I hadn't considered until just now, earlier when I hopped on here, is that when you put something like Covalence Dust in here, you get matter. But then if you take something like, let's say, coal, and you try to put coal in there, it will not take it. Because you have to first remove the matter, and then change it to fuel mode, which is a bit annoying. And unfortunately, that's going to be a bit of an issue, but it's not a big one. These things aren't really going to negatively impact our experience here. One thing that we are going to do, though, is why we're here, and while we're thinking about it, we're going to go ahead and... I I think you move this with a pick. Yes, you do. We're going to move this. We're getting It's getting pretty tight in here. I need to build a larger space, and I've been thinking about how I want to do it. For some reason, I have this strange desire to build an underground evil lair. I'm not sure what that's all about. I think Brush Yet Cub did that. But I'm thinking just a nice log cabin, maybe even right here where this one is. Just build off of this one and expand it a bit and prettify it. Because let's face it, this is not very pretty at the moment, but we could do some work to it. So today we're going to be building our machines, and in order to do that, we're going to first have to get some rubber. And to do that, we're going to need a tree tap. Now we have this nifty electric tree tap, which is pretty cool, but also a little bit out of our range right now. So we're going to go ahead and go with the standard one. And if we cycle through here, we'll find the recipe. It's just some planks, and we're going to build a few of them. Because from what I understand, they don't last too long. And we're going to want to have a quite a few of them, because we're going to need to collect quite a bit of rubber. Now, do they have an EMC value? That's a good question to ask. I thought it was, at least that's why I asked it. Did I already mess up the recipe? Apparently so. There we go, it does not have an EMC value. So I say we go ahead and create at least four of these. I don't know if we'll need that many, but you can't go wrong with that. So we'll have the one down here and it'll automatically get dropped back down. We've got an ax with us because we're going to be moving some of these rubber trees with us. Now, I know some people were concerned that we wouldn't be able to find any rubber trees, but of course, we're next to a swamp. And if you are playing the game, the number one thing you need to know about rubber trees is why you, you can find them throughout the world. Your best bet is to go to a swamp because they are everywhere. I mean, just look around us. There are a ton of them. And just right click using your tree tap, you can get some. And I don't recommend cutting down the trees because if you cut down the trees, you can replant them. But if you leave them up, they will naturally have more rubber grow on them. And when I say rubber, what I'm referring to is, of course, the sticky resin, sort of the sap, which we're going to use inside of... Well, I don't want to spoil anything. Let's go ahead and collect a bit more. And what you can do is just knock the leaves off the side here. There you go. You can find some more up top. And knocking the leaves off of it will not hurt it. It will continue to produce sap, even without leaves, because it's magical. It's magical like that. What does it need? Does it need leaves? No, it doesn't need leaves. What do you think it is? Some sort of tree? It doesn't need leaves to survive. Not at all. Now, we are going to cut this one down because we do want to get some saplings. And we want to use those saplings to hopefully plant some of these trees a bit closer to us. You can also use the rubber wood here. If we click U to show uses, if you put it inside of, there is a machine, an extractor, you'll get some rubber wood from it. Or some rubber from the wood. 
You can also use an extractor to get a bit more sticky resin. When you cook up a sticky resin, when you smelt it, you get a single rubber. However, inside of an extractor, you get three, so you can triple your output there, which is a good idea because this stuff has an EMC value, but rubber does not. So that is something to consider. We might build an extractor pretty soon. Also, if you do cut down the tree, you will also get the resin. But again, if you leave the tree up, it'll just grow more resin. It's a bit of a faster way of doing things. Like I said, though, we're going to go ahead and tear them down because to heck with nature. We want to make our own nature. We, we, are, we know better than Mother Nature. I'll be darned. Now, where are my saplings? Sapling drops aren't extremely rare. You will get some, but you won't get as much as you will from a normal tree, at least not in my experience. I'm not claiming to be any sort of an expert. I'm just making YouTube videos. What makes you think that would make me an expert? Now, some of you might say, Cub, couldn't you leave those tree stalks, like the trunks themselves? What the heck is a tree stalk? Couldn't you leave the trunks and just shave off the tree, the leaves and get the, uh, get the saplings and then still have the trunks? And the answer is yes. I just didn't think about it at the time. In any case, we've got now 12 sticky resin which is more than we're going to need when we can just get like an infinite number amount of them. Uh, hmm. Well, see, now I'm... Hmm. If it's got an EMC value, why get a tree at all? I'm, I'm questioning all of my decisions today. If we can just toss this in the, in the transmutation tablet, and we can just get an infinite number of them. I mean, sure, we'll still have to... Does rubber have an EMC value? I don't know. Let's go ahead and teach this to the system, though. Excellent. It's been learned. We've got 12, and that is enough for me. We'll throw it up there along with a bit of coal. Okay, and when that's done, that will give us rubber. We could split the load a bit, I guess. It's a it's a, it's a slight waste of our coal. We could get eight, but we're gonna we're gonna split it, and that's okay. We've got plenty of coal. We can EMC some more if we need it. Rubber does not have an EMC value. We're going to need quite a bit of this, though, because today we're going to be building a generator. And this is sort of the first machine that you're going to need to start processing ores, because the or processing machines require power, obviously. We don't want to create a whole lot of, oh, look at this, a machine block. That might be the way to go. We could build an iron furnace, which is an upgraded furnace. We don't really need one. We could just go ahead and make a machine block. And this is, you don't want to make a whole lot of metals early in the game because you're going to be able to duplicate your metals once we get a few machines up. But we are going to need a minimum of eight refined iron, which is just you take the iron, you cook it again. Very straightforward. And then for a re-battery, I believe you need 410. We should check, though. And you'll notice you can't just click on that battery. That's because it's showing a completely charged re-battery. To get the recipe, you've got to find just the standard one. Can you click? No, you can't. We're going to need some tin as well. So 410. Uh, I know we've got some. Okay, we'll have to cook that up. We already have some iron. We're going to need not eight, though. Good. We'll go ahead and, ooh, we're going to also need a bit of copper. I think six should do us for now. Might as well double it up and go with 12. Going to need a bit more coal. We should be good here. We've got our first bits of rubber. Cool deal. We'll go ahead and get that going. And then over here, we will get copper going. We'll put two in there. And once all this is done, we'll come back and we will continue. Okay, there's all of our refined iron, and that is all of our copper, and I don't even know why, but for some reason, I thought we would need way more tree taps than we ended up needing. We might not need any ever again, now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and build those three main components. First off, we are going to have our reactor casing. Fantastic. Then next up, we're going to want to build some cables. For this one, we're going to do copper and a line. Now, I think we can go ahead and insulate them right off the bat. Yes, or you can turn them into copper cables and then insulate them. In this case, we'll do it like so. We will get 12 copper cables. Then we're going to have to build the battery. So we're going to need some tin, a single copper cable up top, and some redstone. That'll give us our re-battery. You may notice that none of these components have EMC, and that is a darn shame. But unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. The last component is going to be a bog-standard furnace, which we almost have enough EMC for. What do we have that has EMC seeds? Let's toss those in there, and we'll get ourselves the rest of the cobblestone that we need. Cool deal. Okay, we got our furnace, we have our machine block, and we have our re-battery. That'll give us a generator. Now, we want to be careful about where we place this, because once we place it, we will not be able to pick it back. Well, I think you can use a... Mmm. Ooh, I don't know. So one thing you need to know about this particular mod, and this is Industrial Craft 2, for those of you who do not know... You cannot use picks to pick up the items. Picks to pick up. Hmm, 
That sounds peculiar when I say it out loud. Picks to pick up. Picks to pick up. Anyway, you cannot use picks to pick up the item. You have to have a wrench. Otherwise, the item will break down to either a furnace, depending on what it is, or just a machine casing. So you want to be careful with that. I think this is the wrench we want to use, potentially, right here, using bronze. And bronze is a combination of, uh, well, it is bronze dust, which is three copper and a tin. We don't have dust yet. We'll have to build some machines before we can do that. So we want to place this guy carefully down. And we're going to put it right there. I think that that's probably a good place to put it. We are going to throw a single piece of coal in there. And a single piece of coal is enough to completely fill up our internal storage. But that's not a whole lot of space. That's not enough space. We need more space is what we need. So we're going to build a battery box, or in this case, a bat box, which is going to store some additional energy for us. We're going to need another copper cable. We need some wooden planks, and we're going to need some more re-batteries. So each one of these is four, so we're going to need 12, 10. Remember, we're trying to make things using just the bare minimum amount of metals, because once we get that macerator, everything is going to change. The force is going to be awakening, and... Oh, that'd be a cool name for a Star Wars movie. Somebody get on that. George Lucas, get on that. There's some rumors coming out that he's going to sell to Disney. We'll see how that goes. Now, I just came to a realization that some of you might have already come to earlier on in this video. And that is that 10 has an EMC value. So, why am I sitting around and waiting for any of these metals to cook when I could just throw them in here and get a whole lot of them? And my answer to you is that I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I'm a little bit fuzzy. We'll go ahead and we'll say that. And then we'll just keep going and pretend like it's not a big deal. Because it's not. At the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. I'm the one waiting, not you folks. So, y'all not worry about these sort of situations. Okay, there we go. We've got our three re-batteries. And, of course, the other ingredients were planks and a single cable. We have our planks. I am putting them in the wrong place. That's intentional, though. Trust me. We want to put them up top. Put our re-batteries along the center here. And we will put our copper cable up top. Now, the bat box, again, we need a wrench for it. But in this case, what we need a wrench for is to point the bat box in the direction we want it to send power. Now, here's a good question. I want to run power to two machines. I wonder what would happen if we went ahead. Roll with me on this one. If we knocked out this back piece, I believe there's a... Mm, we'll, be, we'll be completely exposed to the elements here. But what if I put the bat box on the back of that there, and then I put the machines to either side? Ooh, that could be good. So we want this thing to hopefully aim the green bit this direction. Yes, and it did! Awesome! So we'll go ahead and we will get our copper cables out of here. We will run them along as so. And now, you want to make sure you can put power into any of the sides. And let's go ahead and take a look at it from the outside. Let's maybe... Oh, goodness gracious. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Green Eye Spider. Mr. Green-Eyed Spider-Man, good to see you. Let's take a- let's take a nap. Let's- Oh boy, okay. Just take a- A little nappy-poo. Until morning. Ugh, when things calm down a bit. Hi there! Wall of stone, how you doing? Good to see ya. Good to see ya, mate. Now, you can pump power into any of the sides, and if we take a look at the back here, you'll see all the sides look the same, except for this side. This side is green. That's your output. That's the side you want to output items on. What am I going to do about this, though? What? How do you solve a problem like... I guess we'll just... This won't look good. This is not going to look good. I'm not going to claim it will. It will, however, be effective. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. We'll have to do a redesign of our roof at some point. We'll worry about that. We will, as they say in France, cross le bridge when we reach le bridge. That is something they say in France. Having never been there, nor spoken to a French person in my life, I feel... Vaguely confident in making that statement. There we go. Completely hidden out of sight. More or less. Next up, we need to hook up some machines, but I think that can wait. Until next time. Hey! Thank you folks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and, you know, maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Leave some comments, some suggestions, and some tips down below. I'll definitely be reading them. And until next time, God bless y'all, and I'll see you later. Bye! Well, welcome back to Minecraft Weekly. We're getting much closer to the release of the Minecraft Weekly Mod Pack, which I am very excited about. As you can see here, I have not done my proper sorting of items. Usually, I kind of sort through the items a bit.